हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अचीव असडा इफ यू आर फर्स्ट टाइम इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन एंड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स प्लीज डू हिट अ लाइक बटन सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग इन वन शॉट द पेनाल्टीज एंड ऑफेंसेस रिलेटेड टू इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एक्ट एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी यूजफुल फॉर द यूजीसी नेट पेपर वन एज वेल एज पेपर टू कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट एज वेल राइट so it is commerce and paper one only will be useful so this will be a part of uh, information technology that is ict unit number 18 paper one and legal aspects of business in commerce paper number 2 so let us try to look into the all penalties in one shot uh, total with a chart wise three charts i will give where you can remember everything so i also teach at an academy platform daily at a 9 pm in the uh, tuesday wednesday and friday every friday Uh, every tuesday every wednesday at 9 pm in this uh, an academy live nta ugc uh, ugc net youtube channel you can find so you can follow me in an academy learning app also the link is already given in the description and do join in my telegram group achieve asadda the link is already pinned in the chat box as well as in the comment box in the description also daily at 8 am and 7 pm uh, paper 1 and paper 2 Sessions are going on, courses are going on at an Academy Plus platform. So you can take the Academy one month plus subscription to access to all these uh, courses by me as well as other educator. Because one an Academy Plus subscription will give you all the educators of Paper One and Paper Two any subject you, you can able to access. Not only that, test series will be available as well as the PDF study material also will be available. At present, today is the last and final day. Uh, that is twenty second. where you can get the academy plus subscription instead of 10 percentage you will get 20 percent off till today only so today 1159 the offer will comes to an end shiva live is a invite code s h i v a l i v a you can use it and get 20 percent off on the subscription let us go into the direct uh, the main part of our discussion which is the penalties i hope you can able to see clearly without any chaos right so this is the information technology act 2000 uh, chapter number 11 which is offenses and penalties respect to offense which is committed res with respect to technology information technology as well as how much imprisonment the years of imprisonment and how much penalty amount penalty we are going to discuss let us start one by one here you can see section number is given in first column second uh, imprisonment and fine is given third one what is a violation and about the violation detailed description is also i try to give so this is a concise one i will give this pdf in the telegram also do not worry first listen to the entire uh, provision so that you will understand this question is being asked section they are asking us to identify they are asking us to identify the imprisonment and fine also so when you are able to know the uh, violation you can able to pick up this one and this one first one section number 65 will start section number 65 is dealing with tampering the computer tampering with a computer source document tampering means which is getting manipulating or it is uh, destroying we can say knowingly or intentionally conceals or destroys or alters intentionally knowingly causes another to conceal or to destroy any source document which a source document means original document you are trying to destroy intentionally wantedly when you do it so then you are liable for 3 years imprisonment and up to 2 lakh penalty fine is going to be imposed up to fine 2 lakh is going to be imposed okay tampering with a computer source document that is section number 65 when you do wantedly section number 66 computer related offenses sometimes this is also referred as an hacking with a computer system computer related offenses means if any person dishonestly fraudulently means wantedly intention to deceive does any act so intent to cause or knowing that he is likely to cause a wrongful loss he know that he is going to cause a wrongful loss and damage to the public or any person destroys or the address or alter the information residing in a computer resource diminishes its value which means injuriously or wantedly they are doing something which can hack hack the entire other person you are trying to make the loss to the other person that is what the section number 66 computer related offenses are the hacking with a computer system 
in such case up to 2 lakh rupees and 3 years imprisonment is going to be there in some cases if it is hacking now nah, in some cases it could be 5 lakh also because as per the uh, the law draft is then as per the law original gadget hacking with a computer system is 5 lakh uh, sorry computer related offenses is 2 lakhs and hacking with a computer system is 5 lakhs is given so according to the option you try to choose but when they given computer related offenses now nah, it should be 2 lakh only it should be 2 lakh only and hacking with a computer system it could be 5 lakh it could be 2 lakh also so do not come to a conclusion until unless by looking at the options look at the option and come to a conclusion because in the law they specified about computer related offenses and the they never written that as a computer hacking by understanding the description of that respective section you can able to say that hacking is also part of this one because hacking will be done with the intention to cause loss to other person right so 66 a three years and fine fine amount is not given but a three years imprisonment what is a uh, violation punishment for sending offensive messages through communication service offensive messages like any information which is grossly offensive to someone and here demeaning the uh, means uh, trying to uh, be very offensive to the other person which is talking like any abusive words and all any information that he knows to be false but for the purpose of causing unknowing to someone in inconvenience to someone danger to someone you are trying to insult someone with abusive messages and offensive messages in such case three years imprisonment as per section number 66a right next uh, 66b please try to type in the comment section also one by one so section number 66b a completed now b punishment for dishonestly receiving a stolen computer resource or in uh, communication device punishment for dishonestly receiving somebody stolen your computer and you are receiving that stolen computer if a person receives or retain that type of computer resource which is stolen by someone and he, here imprisonment will be up to three years and one lakh will be the penalty will be imposed according to section 66 b now section 66 c c will be punishment for identity theft identity theft means using a credentials of someone and uh, getting or hacking credentials of someone using a password of others whoever fraudulently dishonestly make use of electronic signatures L and passwords otps unique identification numbers if anything you are trying to use dishonestly without knowing to other person in such case three years will be the imprisonment and one lakh will be the uh, penalty 66 d d is an here cheating by personation you are trying to cheat the other person by using an electronic communication so by means of any communication device communication uh, computer resource cheats by a personation you are trying to cheat someone by using a social media you are trying to cheat someone by misrepresenting yourself like a fake uh, uh, fake person will be there on the other side but social media they'll portray like a, some other person so those are comes under the cheating activities so as per that three years and one lakh will be the penalty will be applicable and 66 e 66 e is for what punishment for violation of a privacy of other person publishing private image of other person publishing private image of other person in the social media or somewhere when you made it public the private image of others when you made it public intentionally knowingly the capture or publishes transmit a image of a private area of any person without his or her content under that circumstances three years imprisonment two lakh will be the penalty will be imposed section number 66 f most important punishment for cyber terrorism which is disturbing the sovereignty and integrity of india authorized personal to computer resources access to be protected system and with the unity integrity sovereignty and security of india then he committed that cyber terrorism which is lifetime imprisonment lifetime imprisonment is going to be there as per the section number 66 f f is indicating cyber terrorism next 66 a b c d e f now 67 67 67 is saying punishment are for publishing or transmitting absence material in electronic form some material which is not available in a e form that is electronic form it is not available 
you are trying to convert that into electronic form and publishing it on your own it is not actually belong to you so in such case in such case if you are doing for a first time first conviction up to 3 years or with a file lakh or both also 3 years and file lakh or both also if it is continuously you are doing the same thing continuously if you are doing the same thing then second conviction up to instead of 3 years na here up to 5 years and the amount will become double that is 10 lakhs instead of 5 lakh it will become double that is 10 lakhs 67 it is 67 a b and c again 67 a 67 a punishment for publishing transmitting a material containing a sexually explicit act in an ele electronic form so if you are publishing a something someone's uh, uh, sexually explicit type of a videos or anything it could be a material which is sexually related pornography related those whoever published or transmitted that cause publish uh, published or transmitted in ele electronic form sexually explicit act or a conduct in such case first conviction five years second conviction seven years here 10 lakh in both the cases fine five and seven years is the first conviction five years second conviction seven years right 67 b punishment for publishing transmitting a material child children pornography this is newly introduced section in the 2018 amendment so children pornography comes under this uh, 67 b if you are trying to capture a, and publish the image of a child which is sexually explicit act or a conduct then who is under the age of below the age of 18 first conviction five years same second conviction seven years same so 10 lakh will be the amount same so for this 67 a and b when it is sexually you are publishing a data or a material sexual uh, material when you are publishing it both the section whether it is children pornography or else adult also both in both the cases it is same 5 years 5 years 7 years 7 years 10 lakh will be the amount 67 c preservation and retention of information by the intermediaries intermediaries are the middle persons so intermediary shall preserve and retain information as may be specified for such duration in such a manner as agreed by the central government as format as the central government may prescribe if they are not doing as such now if that uh, preservation and retention of information by the intermediaries actually they are not the original owners but they are keeping with themselves only they are not giving it to others who is the actual owner this will usually happen in case of uh, movie movies once they uh, completed with the shooting of the movies they will preserve and retain the main material or the movie captures with them only they will not give to the person in such case three years imprisonment fine is not given in the law Final is that section number 68, which is failure to comply with the direction given by the control of the Information Technology Act. Suppose controller who is an appropriate authority has given uh, some orders to them. Any person who is intentionally knowingly failed to complain with order given by the controller, obviously they are liable for a three years imprisonment and one lakh, one lakh will be the fine will be imposed on them, right? So, this is how the entire penalties will come and there is a one important update of the 2021 information technology. Those who understood this penalties and the description, I am expecting you to type in the comment section, section, penalty and violation. The three things, if you, if you uh, write it in the comment section, then that will be better so that I will understand that you understood my lecture. Information Technology Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics Code Rules 2021. So, they have notified this code. These new rules are broadly deal with a over the top. That is OTT platforms are there now. Amazon Prime, Netflix as well as AHA and uh, this G. All these are there. Those platform. These rules have been framed in exercise of powers under the section number 87 of the Act 2000 in supersession of the earlier information technology 2011 rules so those are social media digital news ott platforms ott platform self classify the content into five year five age based categories that is u universal u by a 7 plus years u by uh, a 13 plus and u by a 16 plus and a categories these are five categories need to do and uh, parental locks for any content classified as an 13 plus and above 13 plus and above which is classified as an u by a 13 plus or above 
So for that parental locks means parent permission is required to view that. Age verification mechanism for the content classified under A. Only adult are eligible to look at that content for that age verification is mandatory. And social media identify the first originator of the content that authorities consider as an anti-national. Whenever anti-national content is being published in social media, who is the initial originator, who is the publisher, initial publisher of that content? We need to identify. Appoint a grievance officer, resolve a complaint in 15 days. We need to appoint a grievance officer for every complaint to resolve within 15 days. File monthly complaints report and complaints received and action taken. This is for the, the respective cyber uh, police stations, I would say. And digital news. Here, follow the Press Council of India Cable TV Network Act norms. So, those regulation act norms are there. We need to follow whoever is uh, host, hosting that digital news. And self-regulatory bodies to oversee other than other ends to code of ethics. Must the bodies which are there now for the digital news or the news or the press trust of India, they must look into this one to follow the regulations and rules which is released by them. Information and Broadcasting Ministry to form a panel to oversight the mechanism of this digital news also. So, these are the important update with respect to Information Technology uh, Act 2000, the penalties and new rules which is 2021. If you have understood this lecture, kindly hit a like button to appreciate to and you can also share with your friends. One, if you share with a one of your friend, then that will be a biggest motivation that will increase my one subscriber and one view also. Even though small number of persons are viewing our lectures, but out of that small number of views only many number of JRFs are going to get. That is my target because out of the thousands of people JRFs may come. If 10,000 people are watching a lecture, 100 people, uh, if they are getting a JRF, that is, the, that is not the biggest success. If 1000 people or 500 people are viewing the lectures, if I can bring the 100 members JRF, that is the biggest satisfaction which I am going to get it. So, so your support is also required to achieve this one. Thank you so much. Bye to all and uh, do share with your friends.